Welcome! I am Dr. Julian from Polly Attempted. Yes, I said doctor. I am a data operative consultant, which is a bullshit term I just made up, but we specialize in another bullshit term I've made up, creative solutions. So, this is picture show. This isn't picture show, this is picture class. I had the last picture show in my head. I saw an interview with Peter Bogdanovich, so I was thinking about his film. Picture class. It's like master class, but not nearly as good. But it's free, because it's the quality attempted version. But not really. We're going to do it. Found a way. I'm just like waiting for someone to laugh, because some people might not even know who Ben White is. We're going to do decades in film. Um, I thought of an interesting way to do like a online show online how old am i a youtube show on the internet uh and we're gonna go decade by decade through film um through the various decades uh obviously starting in the 1980s with blowout uh which is my current favorite film it had dethroned blade runner from uh yeah that's no that's there's no more to that sentence. It had to throw in Blade Runner. Uh, there was a specific shot in that movie that made me laugh at a very tense moment. And I was like, oh, okay. So uh, without further ado, we're going to talk about this movie to launch us into this new program. Um, this will probably be a shorter episode because I don't want to prattle on too much. But the idea is uh, if you'd like to join me in this journey... Um, every week we're going to watch a different movie from a different decade. We'll have comments about it and um, I'll post stuff about it on Instagram. You can email about, I don't know, a small community of people talking about stuff or a larger community. Whatever you want it to be. So it is on Pluto and Tubi for free. It is also on Prime Video um, or Amazon Prime Video, whatever it's called. Uh, I don't know if the quality is better because a lot of times you'd assume like they'd get a better master of it. I don't know if it's a public domain one. No, it's not public domain. We are, I'm trying to throw so many words that don't belong in the sentence in that sentence. Don't worry about that. Oh, uh, Love, Hate. This will be one of the movies that we will be watching uh, in the course. Um, I'm going to make it through it. Uh, <laughs> Love and Hate is from Night of the Hunter in 1955. Really good movie, and uh, the thing I love about that little speech that Robert Mitchick gives is also talking about the Bill Nunn performance that he did in uh, Spike Lee's Do the Right Thing from 1989 with the brass ring. So he had two different actors from two different decades with two movies that have very little to do with each other, but they're both unified by the film, so as an art form. I don't know, something I like. Uh, Blowout is a film about making a film, uh, Brian De Palma, um, is a huge fan of movies. He likes filmmakers and he likes to show the process that he goes through when he makes a film. So this is a very, very, very personal film for him. Uh, he's very obsessed with the K Jim yeah. He was very obsessed with the John F. Kennedy assassination. And, uh, he had that as a recurring theme in his movies. And this movie is kind of the ultimate obsession because a movie recording, a movie sound designer, audio engineer, whatever his official title is, who is supposed to just record sounds for a crappy horror movie, accidentally records an assassination through a gunshot. But everyone thinks it's a blowout because that happens in the movie. So uh, I'm going to give a spoiler alert. Uh, this film came out in 1981. Uh, this is the Criterion Collection, which automatically, you could tell, would draw my eye to it. Um, visually, I want to know about this movie, but it tells you so much more than the original poster, which is John Travolta, you know, it's like a cutoff. Uh, if you're looking for this movie on Tubi or Apple TV, if you search it, you'll see that image. I think this is a much better image. Uh, this is the one the Criterion Collection used, and a lot of times they'll use covers like this. Um, they also did one for Thief, it, but I think I like that original poster better, but it also features like James Caan and a similar thing, but it's him under the Chicago Bridge. But it's just a photo, you know, it's uh, interesting. It's not 
this is not representative of the time period it came out, which um, if you've seen Brian De Palma other posters, uh, Body Double and Dress to Kill, these are the original posters. Um, these three films uh, are a exploitation trilogy and they also tell the story of film through a the actual film, what you see on camera, uh, a sound and director's point of view and blowout, and then in Body Double you see it from an actor's point of view. Um, I have a very large theory about that. I'm hoping to uh, get it more organized and express it better, but uh, it's just a sample. <laughs> so anyway, um, we're gonna flip this back. Uh, as you know, there are spoilers at this point. So uh, Blowout, it's the, the reason I have this and I put it down. Uh, one of my favorite parts of this film is the fact that you see a movie being made right in front of your eyes. He's showing you how he's doing it. Um, the sequence, which is reproduced very nicely in the booklet from the Criterion Collection, um, when they publish the film into photos uh, for a magazine, when John Travolta's character Jack buys them, uh, buys the magazine, and then he cuts the film and then he synchronizes it. He, I mean, he cuts these and then basically tapes them together, tapes the photos together. So it's got like on a strip, like a film strip, and then he um, synchronizes it with the sound. So you see technically how a film is made, like an old school way versus how everything would be digitally scanned, computer, nonlinear editing. They're doing, you know, old school cuts and stuff like that. So I think that's pretty cool. That's cool too. It has an 84% on Rotten Tomatoes. It has 7.4 out of 10 on IMDb. Those are numbers, if that matters to you. Written and directed by Brian De Palma. Uh, he also did Scarface, The Untouchables, Body Double, Dress to Kill, Phantom of the Paradise, Mission Impossible, Snake Eyes. I'm not gonna go through this whole filmography, but I probably could. Uh, he is currently my favorite director, Blowout. Uh, the throne Blade Runner for me and um, hopefully uh, if you've watched this film you can at least agree it is very entertaining and uh, very beautifully shot <laughs> um, what do you think is uh, is this a good movie or a bad movie what do you think tell me in the comments below um, are there any movies you're hoping that you'd like to see in this uh, decade thing I'm doing. I have kind of a list, but the idea is to try to keep them all free. So feel free to drop me an email at qualityattempted at gmail.com. And you can also check us out on Instagram at qualityattempted, one word, but it's also two. Huh? What? I don't know. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think. Uh, so uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and hopefully we'll have more content like this. I said that dreaded C word content. Um, thank you so much for visiting with me today and joining me on this journey uh, here at Quality Attempted, where we provide creative solutions because we are data operative consultants. <laughs>